Hello, Leo. Welcome to January. We're going to take a look at your energy for January. This is a general reading. It could be love. It could be career. We're going to just see what comes in. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by. If you are returning, thank you for all of your support. All right, let's see what's going on for Leo in January. We're going to take a look at the energy coming into the reading. Your challenges or influences, recent past, what's on your mind, the main message or situation for January, what you'll experience coming into the near future, how you see yourself, what's coming in from your environment that you don't see yet, your emotions, and what's your outcome for January 2023. All right, let's do it. In the comments section, make sure you put your birth date, find your Leo twin. You never know. They could be your soulmate. You just never know in this wacky, crazy world. All right, Leo, let's see what's coming in for January. So if you are new here, the way I like to do my readings, I lay out all the cards before I start explaining them. Tarot has a lot of different meanings. The cards have a lot of different meanings. So we want to see the surrounding cards, clarify, and then it reads like a story. All right, coming into the reading, what do we got, Leo? What's the energy? We got the Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What's your challenge or influence to that page of pentacles? The two of wands. There's your fire energy. What's on your mind throughout January? The empress. Beautiful. Major arcana for Libra or Taurus. So if you're new to tarot, when I speak of major arcana, there are 22 in the deck. And it's just big shifts in energy. You don't have a whole lot of free will when those majors show. What happened in your recent past, Leo? The two of swords. So more of that air element. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What's the situation? What's the main message for January? Ooh, the lovers. More Gemini energy, Major Arcana. Coming into the near future, what will you experience, Leo? The Ace of Swords. A lot of air element showing. How do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? Ooh, okay, fire sign. You're like a little spark there. Ace of Wands. All right, you're looking for some sort of passionate new beginning. Some of you have already experienced that. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see? Well, it could certainly be you or another fire sign. We've got the King of Wands with Leo Sag Aries. What's in your emotions? What's going on in your emotions? The Ten of Swords. All right. So definitely endings and new beginnings with that Ten of Swords. And then we see the Aces here. What's your outcome for January? You've got the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right, we see a couple people showing up here. So you've got, and it's king energy. So I like that. It's typically quite mature energy. Somebody who, you know, wants to commit or is mature, taking action in some way. So I think you guys are going to have a decision to make. Because we do see, we see the two of wands, the two of swords. Those are both about taking, you know, making decisions and choices. Uh, there may be a little bit of a blockage in the recent past or you are ignoring someone. I think there's going to be a choice between a couple people here. You've got the lovers in the foundation, Leo. So that is making choices or decisions in matters of the heart, using logic over emotion. So you definitely have somebody on your mind and something new, expansion, wanting to move forward. It's a nice energy. A lot of you are loving yourselves as well with that Empress energy. So feeding a connection. All right, let's take a look at the rest of January. I'm going to turn up my light here. It's kind of dark, isn't it? There we go. That might be a little better. All right, let's clarify and see what's going on. Uh, real quick, too, before we clarify, anyone who's interested in the January tarot course that I'm offering, if you go down to the description box, you'll find my email. So definitely reach out and email me and I can send you information. So I have a couple openings, but registration is now. If you're interested, we've had a great time in the past. It's a great way to learn tarot. If you like my style of reading, it'll be right up your alley, Leo. It will. All right, let's do it. Let's see what January's bringing for y'all. Okay, so coming into the reading, we've got the Page of Pentacles. What's this about? What do we got? And the Ten of Wands in reverse, another 10. So completing a cycle. With the Page of Pentacles, kind of slow energy coming in right now. That Page of Pentacles is planting that seed. A lot of you are extending an olive branch to someone who's hurt you. 
that it's, it's been a long cycle. If you haven't, that's kind of your energy towards somebody right now, or they could be doing that to you. You know, again, it can even be um, making amends or, or becoming friends again after an ending something like that, but moving very, very slowly because you're, the pressure is being relieved here. So now you can just move forward. And it's influenced by the two of wands. There's your fire energy. Got another 10 and the 10 of swords. Say goodbye to the old and hello to new beginnings because that's what this looks like. The two of wands is kind of, again, what's influencing this. All right, well, I'm ready to make amends or my energy's kind of slow. I'm recovering, closing cycles. That was a heavy burden. For some of you, this is work situation or even a friendship. And what's influencing that is, well, now I need to take action. I'm not really sure. Do I want to go left? Do I want, want to go right? I'm making plans for my future because I'm ready for the new, ready to kind of move forward after an ending, after, you know, some sort of maybe betrayal or deception um, but nonetheless, an ending of some sort. That's why we've got the Empress on your mind. So Major Arcana number three. So again, beginnings, feeding connections, loving yourself, and moving forward. For some of you, this is a new job or a new kind of project within your current job, maybe even starting something on the side. Others of you, this is love. Empress, yeah, beautiful. Oh, with the star, another Major Arcana, Aquarius energy healing and hopeful and really setting your sights on something if this is anything outside of love leo you guys really are moving towards being in the spotlight in some realm for everybody that's different you know but this is receiving a lot of recognition again being in the spotlight and it's moving towards something new for others of you this is just healing and really that hope is being restored in january what's this uh star what's this yeah eight of wands movement change a very busy time for love on your mind is manifestation and moving forward a lot of back and forth communication being very busy if it's work it's like text emails phone calls just forward movement those wands are flying through the air and it has something to do with new and something that's quite abundant that you are super super excited about what happened in the recent past you've got the two of swords leo with the hermit major kind of virgo so taking some time out maybe blocking people blocking you know energy could be any energy could be a person that two of swords is again i got a decision to make but i'm not really sure i've got a blockage in my thoughts and i'm ignoring things that aren't bringing this abundance and expansion and beautiful energy so i'm just going to kind of pull away you could have been ignoring somebody who withdrew or you withdrew from this person maybe even ghosted but again it's just taking so much time that you needed to seclude and to figure some things out, to research, to uncover. It's all happening because of the lovers. So Gemini energy in the foundation and the Queen of Swords. A lot of you have Gemini or Libra in your chart. Being very to the point. So January is going to be all about decisions and using logic over emotion, cutting things off or out that aren't serving. The Queen of Swords is, you know, typically, she's very honest, very to the point, very truthful. She'll listen to you, but if it's not serving, she cuts you off, right? Because she's all about making those very logical decisions. So we've got choices here. I do feel, as far as love goes, there will be a choice between a couple people. Anything outside of love, this could be a contract of some sort, and you're dealing with a Queen of Swords, somebody that is very to the point, you know, a little bit, can come across a little bit icy or cold, but it's just because she has a job to do, and they're bringing you some sort of partnership. It looks nice. Coming into the near future, Leo, you'll experience the Ace of Swords. What is this about? What the hell is it? And the Seven of Swords, more Gemini energy. Mm, what's this Ace of Swords with the Seven of Swords? A lot of swords. And the Nine of Cups. You get some sort of communication from somebody who tried to, you know, they did you wrong. Could be the person that you pulled away from, person that you started to ignore. You knew for a long time you needed to make a decision about this person. You finally did. But coming in, there could be some very to-the-point communication. A lot of times with that Ace of Swords, you get that truth and that clarity, and then you cut them off. 
right? Because you're strategizing with that seven of swords. You may even speak to somebody here and then kind of disappear on them and it makes you kind of happy, nine of cups. Well, maybe they deserved it, Leo. But you are manifesting, you will experience that you know completion on an emotional level close to it with the nine and again this is wishes and manifesting something that you really really have been hoping to achieve and again it has to do with relationships here telling somebody to f off and then allowing somebody else to come in you see yourself right now as the ace of wands so there's your fire energy with the two of swords again Again, feeling this passion and this drive to go towards something new and cutting somebody else off, ignoring them. What's this Two of Swords about? And the Magician. Creating. We've got Major Arcana number one. So again, with the Ace of Wands, that's newness. That's a fresh start. you got the Magician, which is also new. It's having everything that you desire, everything that you want to create and to manifest a new beginning after ignoring another energy, another person, another situation, and just blocking them out. That two of swords can be a blockage. So Leo's all about the new, and it's because you're able to use logic over emotion. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? You've got this king of wands. What's this good old king of wands about, Leo? Could be you, for sure. And you've got the page of cups. So some sort of communication coming in, the Page of Cups, could be somebody younger, could be new. Again, I think a lot of you have a new fire sign or they have fire in their chart coming in to offer that little bit of emotion. It's a page, so it's the beginnings of something. And this is also you really taking action and following your dream. That Page of Cups can be quite creative and there's a dream. You've got your sights on something with that Empress, the star energy, and you're going for it. And that King of Wands will certainly take action and go for something. What's this Page of Cups about? And the Eight of Swords in reverse. No longer feeling tied and bound to negative energy, releasing that frustration more through your thoughts and just releasing and going towards new. I do feel like a lot of you in love have somebody new that's going to be interested in you. You're going to be super, super attracted to them as well. This magician is a strong magnetic pull towards someone after somebody else here you're not interested in. Now that person could be somebody you've already dealt with, or you could have two new people coming in, but one of them gets blocked or you're just not feeling it with them. It'll take you a minute to realize you need to release from that energy to go towards something or someone you're feeling more passion towards. For some of you, again, it's a new job or a new creative aspect of what you're currently doing. What's going on in your feels? You've got the Ten of Swords. What's this about? And the Five of Swords, ooh. So hurt, betrayal, deception. And it's with somebody who, you know, maybe you feel that they really screwed you over that five of swords is me 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 energy it's somebody that's cutting you they're trying to win and they don't really care you know what i'm saying so they'll do something or they you know they act on something that's just well not real nice and it's quite manipulative and deceptive energy you're, you've got that in your emotions so you're definitely feeling that towards someone some of you even want some sort of revenge i mean listen i'm a scorpio i got it you know and it's because of what they've done to you it doesn't mean you'll do anything about it, I'm just saying. And you hear from them or you hear something about them and it makes you a little giddy with that Nine of Cups. What's this Five of Swords? You guys are really standing in your power. Yeah, with the Five of Cups, because you do regret something. You, you know, somebody did something to you or you allowed something, maybe not understanding their true intentions. And, you know, it was quite painful, but you're picking up the pieces and you are moving forward. Your outcome for January, you've got a King of Swords. What's this King of Swords uh, here for Leo? Why is this King of Swords showing up for Leo? What is this about? And the Nine of Wands, protecting yourself. I feel like that King of Swords is you detaching and just cutting somebody off. Could even be people at work that are giving you shit. And that Nine of Wands is protecting yourself. It's guarding yourself. It is the wounded warrior. I've been to hell and back, but I will persevere. I'm cautious of anyone coming towards me, 
but you know and i think in love too these new kind of love offers or messages people interested in you you will be a little bit cautious because you're going to use logic i mean in the foundation with that lovers and the queen of swords if we're just talking about love this is somebody who is just going to cut out the necessary you know you've probably been hurt in the past and you're just not going to put up with anybody bringing you garbage now we do have a king and a queen of swords showing in the reading that can often represent x energy so i wouldn't be surprised if somebody's still kind of dangling that carrot around you but you've got new offers new opportunities coming and while you will move slowly i think you go towards it but you're going to be very protective so if you're cross watching for a leo leo is going to be a little bit defensive but you know what they get to do that if they want well a card just fell but it fell way across the room so we're going to get another one i wanted to clarify this eight of wands on your mind leo and the devil yeah manifestation forward movement and release because that eight of wands isn't just communication it's also taking action forward and releasing quickly with the devil, anything toxic, anything that's kept you stuck. I feel a lot of you have been worked to the bone as well in your career. Somebody's really like after you or like, get this done, Leo, get that done. And I feel like January is gonna be more of that energy of you kind of tied to your job. You know, a little bit of workaholic energy. For some of you, it is your choice. And for others of you, you're just dealing with this Queen of Swords energy who's just working you day and night tell me more about the queen of swords and the foundation for leo and justice they're fair though i mean they will treat you fairly it's just going to be a month of a lot of hard work but it's going to bring in the results that you want and that you need I do feel in love as well. You, you will make a choice. Whomever you choose here, and I would choose fire. So if you have a fire sign around you in the month of January, that's who I would go towards, a fire sign like yourself. And you're going to be fair with them. There'll be a conversation here about, listen, been to hell and back. If we're going to date or even go out on a few dates, this is how it's going to be. It's very to the point. It's very kind of, again, detaching logic from emotion because it's time right and with justice comes equal fair something going your way with justice it is a major arcana so it is the universe bringing you finally something good that you deserve and they're very mature all right this is somebody i feel who is you know they could be in police they could be in government i don't feeling like lawyer accountant something like that <clears throat> but this person is super, super stable, very, very intelligent, like yourself, because that's what I'm seeing in this reading as well. So choices, a lot of different choices after just getting the hell out of Dodge from things that have been keeping you kind of stuck, stagnant, and for some of you, a very painful situation. So finally, something coming in to bring you balance. That's what I've got, Leo. I would appreciate a like, share, and subscribe. Please make sure you leave comments. Let me know your birth date. Let's find your Leo twin because, hell, who knows? Maybe you'll be running off to Vegas in February. I mean, I don't recommend it, but you never know. And anything that you need to know about my channel, my website, or this reading will be below in the description box as well as becoming a member of the channel where you get some additional perks. Other than that, Leo, I love you hard, love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.